up, fam? On this episode, we learn how to make a face cast for making special effects prosthetics. Stay tuned. For this project, I picked up some of this plaster wrap from my local craft store. You can usually find them in rolls like this for pretty cheap. I went ahead and cut a bunch of small strips ahead of time just to make the application easier later on. I also picked up this bald cap here so I can get more of my head in the mold. Before I could put it on though, I needed to tame my crazy hair. To do this, I just wet it down with a spray bottle, then added copious amounts of hair gel, brushing it as flat to my head as I can get it. Next, I positioned the bald cap into place and marked out spots that I didn't need with my Sharpie. Then I just went ahead and cut those away with my scissors. Now the cap lays more flat on my forehead and around my ears. To keep it in place, I busted out some of this liquid latex I grabbed at my local Halloween store and began applying it everywhere I wanted the cap to stick, being sure to avoid my hair. You really don't want to get this stuff in your hair, so make sure you're careful. After the cap is glued down, I went back over the edge with more latex to try to make the transition to my head as smooth as possible. Doing this is just going to ensure that the line doesn't show up in our final casting. Next, I grabbed some Vaseline and spread liberal amounts all over my face, paying extra attention to my beard, eyebrows, and sideburns. This is going to help the plaster release from your face and not pull all your hair out in the process. With that all set, I dip a plaster strip into some water and wring out the excess. Then I simply applied it to my face, smoothing it out as I went. You really want to work the plaster into the creases of your face to ensure an accurate mold. Just make sure you don't cover your nose, as oxygen is a vital component to this project. And, you know, living. Once completely covered, I went back over the whole thing with larger strips just to make sure it was strong. Happy with that outcome, I waited for around 20 minutes for everything to dry. Then I gently began prying it off, flexing the muscles in my face to help the plaster release. The finished result was this kind of creepy mask that has the exact imprint of my face inside. Now we just need to block up the eyes and the nose holes so the plaster won't leak out. Speaking of plaster, for this job I picked up this small box from the craft store. Though I'm pretty sure any plaster of Paris is going to do the trick for you. Following the directions, I added equal parts plaster to water, stirring thoroughly to combine, making sure I scraped the sides of the container to break up any of the chunks that might be in there. Then I just positioned my mold onto some towels to keep it level, and began filling it with the plaster. Now this first bit, I press into all of the little details of my nose, mouth, and eyes just to be certain they came out clearly. Then I proceeded to fill it the rest of the way with my plaster and shook it around a little bit to try to get out as many of the air bubbles as possible. In only about 30 minutes, the plaster was all set up and easily came out of the mold. Though the mold is destroyed during the process. Though the texture was rough, the details already look pretty great. To smooth it out, I just grabbed the cap off of my Sharpie and ran the open end along the surface of the face. Once all the larger inconsistencies were knocked down, I filled in any holes from air bubbles with a little more plaster and sanded the whole thing smooth. Finally, I decided to use some shellac to seal and protect the whole thing. If you don't have any shellac, you can also just paint on some Elmer's glue. And there you have it! One useful, albeit creepy, face cast for all of your SFX needs. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. I will see you next episode. In the meantime, keep leveling up, you.